Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a playthrough of Victoria 2 with the Heart of Darkness expansion, uh, which is a grand strategy game by Paradox Development Studios and Paradox Interactive that spans the time period from 1836 to 1936. So it covers the Industrial Revolution in the early uh, modern era. Now, this is not going to be a very typical playthrough of Victoria 2 for a couple of reasons. First and foremost is that I am incredibly new at this game. Um, I've played it a little bit and I've watched some videos on it, but I have not played through any kind of serious attempt at a... Um, full campaign. So I'm going to be fumbling and bumbling and making mistakes and not knowing about certain mechanics. And this is not going to be, you know, a you know, a veteran of the game playing this. So just to put that out there right now. Second is that this is going to be a playthrough from an import of a Europa Universalis 4 game that we have played previously, which itself was an import of a Crusader Kings 2 game um, that had originally started as a Shattered World playthrough with Ancient Religions. So the map is going to be very, very different from your typical Victoria 2 map. So, let's just go ahead and get in and take a look. So, this is what's going to be sort of uh, an extension of a mega campaign um, featuring the Macedonian Empire that we, as I said, originally formed in Crusader Kings 2, played through Europe Universe House 4, and we're going to be continuing to play as the Macedonian Empire in this game. So, Macedon Empire is a very, very large, powerful empire that spans from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Um, has the Arabian Peninsula, the Indian subcontinent, all the Middle East, Asia Minor, um, large swaths of um, southern Russia. Um, we were able to take pretty much full control of the Mediterranean. And we also have colonies here. In North America, we have colonies here in South America, and we have colonies in the South Pacific. Now, um, those of you who have been watching my Europa Universalis playthrough will realize that the borders don't quite line up exactly, um, which is fine. Uh, that's just to be expected with the converted save. All right, so let's just go ahead and get her started and let's kind of see where we're at. All right, let's switch over to political map mode. All right. So first thing we want to do is kind of take stock of our military situation, see exactly how much of this actually converted over. Uh, looks like my armies are generally in the right place. Um, so we have a pretty large force here in Europe. Uh, let's see. We should have yep, an army here. An army here. Kind of smallish. Um, we have a fairly sizable army up here in North America, so that's good. And we should have some armies here in Asia, which we do. Okay, now. Now, if we look at our military tab here. We fielded 97 out of 254 possible brigades that our soldiers can support. Okay, so we can we can increase the size of the military pretty dramatically. 
Um, we can also support a much larger navy, which we're going to think about as well. All right. As far as production goes, um, we already have some factories. Looks like we have a liquor distillery in Bulgaria. Explosive factory, clipper shipyard, steel, glass, furniture, winery. Yeah, so we're already had the beginnings of some industrialization here. Um, a lot of production. All right, looks like there's a project to build a regular clothes factory, which we should have some capitalists that'll work on that. Um, as far as the budget, I need to get this set. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put education to maximum, administration to maximum. Um, we're going to keep military spending where it is for the moment. And then we're going to have to raise, raise our taxes a bit. Maybe increase our tails. Actually, we probably want to take a look at this after we get the game running a little bit because some of these numbers are going to update. Um, technology. We need to pick a tech to start with. And what I'm thinking I'm going to want to do is under industry, I'm going to start with medicine because that gets us a bunch of interesting things. Um, particularly. You know, with supply limit. And some other things are going to be actually useful for uh, more colonization eventually. So we'll go ahead and start that research. Now, what do I actually already have? We had the experimental railroad already, so we can build railroads. Mechanized mining. Coal production, sulfur production, iron. And it activates steel, so we have that. Uh, publishing industry... Factory throughput. Water wheel pump. We have the practical steam engine. Uh, pretty much just the basics here. We do have romanticism already. Uh, commerce, stock exchange. So we already have a lot of this. Let's see. We have steamers. So we can build steamer convoys, because we have the steam engine, okay. And armies have flintlock rifles, we're going to want to get muzzle-loaded rifles. We need to kind of get up to machine guns as fast as we can. So that's something we'll be looking at here. Politics, currently the National Party, uh, which is reactionary. And protectionism. Uh, state capitalism. Okay, actually, that's what we like. So, our capitalists are still able to build stuff on their own, but we can intervene if we need to. Religious polymoralism. Church and state are a single body, which makes sense for how we've been playing this game. Um, in the previous games, so this is a very making sure we get everything converted, and you know, religion has been pretty important. Which we are Hellenic. Uh, residency, we have Jingoism. Okay. Population, our adult male population is 38.43 million. Total population is 153.7 million. That's a lot. What are we looking at as far as workforce? Clergymen are pretty low. Mostly farmers. So we're going to want to probably get the clergyman up. So we're probably going to want to spend a couple of national focuses. How many national focuses do we have? I forget where... It, oh, we have two. Okay. So what's the most populous? I think it's these. There's Piedmont and Lombardia. So let's go ahead. Actually... Piedmont is 1.4% clergyman. Because around 2% clergyman is what you actually want. Because that gets you what you 
pretty much what you need. Because the clergymen are responsible for education and research, that sort of thing. Um, so I want to bump Piedmont up a little bit. Let's see. Courage, clergymen. Um, United Provinces. Clergymen's way down there. So let's go ahead and encourage clergymen there. All right. Diplomacy, we're currently at peace. Okay, here are the great powers. Massachusetts Empire, we're number one, obviously. Georgia, again, an obvious great power. The Aztecs, Fess, apparently. The Norse Empire, they've been given, they gave us some trouble in EU4. Um, the Inca, okay, makes sense. Australia, again, makes sense. They also gave us some trouble. And England, okay. All right, we'll have to decide what we're going to do with these guys at some point. All right. So let's just go ahead and pause it. Let's get things actually moving here. And I want to see how my budget's going to shake out. Debtor's prison. 19th century dawn in Europe, the practice of jailing people who defaulted on their debts was still the norm in England. Uh, let's see. This issue deserves due consideration. All aristocrats. All capitalists gain. So the aristocrats will lose built in sea. I'll go with that for now. So we're at minus. And we're still losing some money. Let's see, what is this? The nation of Scandinavia, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to their aid in the Scandinavian restoration of order to the Vestlander provinces against Vestlandet. Um, do we really want to get involved in this right now? I mean, we're going to go ahead. We're going to decline that. Holy sight disturbs. Things have gone from bad to worse. In here. And I happen to disturb the shrine of some importance to local religiosity. These in the area are infuriated over the perceived lack of respect for their religion. All Pops and Miranda, where they do not belong to the dominant religion, gain some militancy. Who gives a hoot about their religion anyway? If they're not... They're not Hellenic, then what do we care? Okay. Now... What I'm thinking is one of our primary or an early efforts at expansion is going to be down here in the South Pacific. Because I want to kind of get the South Pacific fully consolidated, or at least as consolidated as I can, under my control. Especially, at least, here. Because there's going to be some very nice resources that we're going to want, especially around here. Um, oil, rubber, that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to start moving troops into position. What's supply limit here? 20. Okay, what about, what about Hanoi? Supply limit's 30. 20. 20. Yep, that is probably going to actually have to split. Actually, that's two separate armies. Make sure those guys split up. Where's that guy over there? Alright, so... We need to get our fleet organized. Fishermen of the Adyger Coast have brought an enormous catch today. Uh, let's see, stockpile. Let's help feed the local poor. 
Alright, that guy's stuck on that little island. Um, here's some ships. Got some clipper transports. Okay, we got a whole bunch of fleets here. Let's see, fifth fleet, man of wars, frigates, one clipper transport. So you probably want to get rid of that clipper transport. Is this transports? Okay, these guys are transports. So let's bring this guy down there. We're gonna want to start replacing these clipper transports with actual steamers. Um, at some point here. Yeah, we're still losing money. Um... We're just going to have to raise taxes for the time being. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to tax pretty heavy. For the moment. So we can get the economy under control. Let's see. Let's just say we're making... Uh, there's a bit of a disparity here between what this is showing and what this is showing. It, the, my budget is, or my uh, treasury is going up, so... Should be okay. Alright, that fleet is docked there. Alright, we need to bring these guys in. Get the fleet consolidated, kind of get stock of what we have. What we're going to be interested in is getting our fleet modernized. Okay, let's bring everybody in. They're actually taking attrition here? Hmm. Alright, these armies... Let's get these guys up on the border with our potential enemies. Now we're gonna have to swell the size of the of the army pretty quick. Yeah, these guys are losing organization or strength. District and Adonis become the hub of activity lately. All pops lose a half a point of militancy. Let's go with regular clothes and lose some militancy. Request for military access from Ning. We're going to decline that. So, let's get in here and see what we can build. I need to specify some place that we're going to 
rally to try to oh gold rush change trade goods from Carlvac to precious metal gold all right Dolly can take 40 all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna set that as a rally point for armies we're going to want to build some armies. We're going to build some armies in... North America, Quebec City. That's Europe. Burmese. Let's see, what we want to do, build uh, regular infantry. Artillery. And we could eventually end up building uh, tanks and planes. Ooh, we're definitely going to want to do some of that. Uh, let's do some infantry. Uh, Bengali. Gujarati infantry. So that's four. Burmese, Burmese, Burmese. Nine. And eleven. Twelve. Thirteen, let's see. So you build fifteen infantry. Let's see, which of these do we want to go with? Dragoons? Attack five defense four discipline. Attack six. Uh, let's go with these guys. I should also just wait for those guys to get built. Alright, merge these guys all together. Frigates. We have some more clipper transports. Yeah, we got more clipper transports. So, let's see. What is it? Uh, shift. Click to pull those guys out. Let's bring them down there. Fisherman off the Odessa coast has brought an enormous catch. Yep, help feed the poor. Let's see, supply limit, supply limit. Let's add Florence as a rally point over here. Let's build some infantry. Infantry. I'm trying to just kind of figure out what is going to be the best way. They can build two infantry. Build a bunch of guys and just start increasing the size of the military. And we got these newspaper.
и Елада Симера. Интересно. Um, Ooh, Khan produced in Merv is of the highest possible quality. All right, let's see. We gain prestige. Gain consciousness and lose militancy. Gain two prestige. Relations between England and the Macedonian Empire changed by 15. Okay. I think Georgia. I want to go to diplomacy. Let's see if we can increase relations with Georgia. Uh, proceed. And same thing with Kumania. We are currently allied with Kumania. And our relations are very good with Kumania. All right. All right, yep, where's our troops built? House rearranged. All right, so here's some guys that are starting to move to Dali. And here's some more guys. They're going to move that way. They're going to move that way. Okay. Oh, here's an army. Oh, that's the transports. Still not exactly sure how this actually works. Why they are not... Or, you know, why they're not increasing in strength. Unless they are, and I'm just not paying attention. Nope, they are decreasing in strength. I'm gonna have to take a look at that, figure, see if I can figure out what that is. Yeah, I am still very, very new at all this. See, these guys are all low strength. I don't know why. I can try and split them up. Preacher Man. Control the clergy through legitimate means, or legislative means. I don't want to lose clergymen, so we'll try and control them. Right, let's see if I move... one of these guys out. Go stock them over where we have a naval base, see if that helps. Wool District and Kasana has become a hub. All right, let's go with that. They have one fort, one naval base, no railroads. Can I try to expand the naval base in Istanbul? I'm trying to expand the naval base here. That might help. Province migration, province growth. Relations with Saxony. Uh, uh, relations with Vestanlet, I'm not worried about them. Okay, so we're moving along, kind of getting some things started, getting some troops built, expanding my army. Those guys are good there. I right, got some guys here. Now we're starting to get those guys produced.
Let's see, what kind of ships could we actually build here? We can build clipper transports, commerce raiders. I tend to justify war using demand concessions cast as Bella against Buha by Funge was detected. Lover exposed. Daily Telegraph would see statewide circulation is in one of our states is published an article article exposing in a rather picturesque manner the details of a local politician's love life, which go apparently goes far beyond the confines of home and wife. While the article isn't slanderous per se, as having a clear impact on the reputation and good name of the politician in question. The public has found the incident amusing, and the politician is now fast becoming the running gag of the town. The politician himself, angry at this attack upon his character, has petitioned the local court to ban the newspaper on the grounds of breach of morality and public trust. Shutting down the paper will arouse liberals in the state, but not doing it will increase the support for press reforms. I guess we caught him in his pants down. <laughs> uh, we are in favor of the free press, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and help feed the local poor with the big catch. We're going to do steam transports. Supply weight. I'm having trouble keeping these guys supplied at ready. Let's see, man of wars. All the tea to master an empire. Stockpile the extra tea. So we had an unusually large tea harvest. Let the farmers keep some. Lose some military militancy and consciousness. Or sell it to our merchants. Let the farmers keep some. Hmm. Attack five, hull six. Attack eight, hull four. So these have more attack, but less hull. Ooh. Axarca Botanical Expedition. Rumors abound in botanical circles that Georgia has launched a botanical botanical expedition to Axarca. According to the rumors, the flora of Axarca is a veritable cornucopia of beauty and biological diversity. While Exarca is a Georgian colony, we could attempt to send an expedition of our own. It might be frowned upon, but the discoveries we can make do have a strange lore of their own. Um, let's go ahead and send the master an expedition. Simulation efforts in the UA areas and territories are progressing slower than they should. Reasonably have to, and one of the reasons is that UA children are still educated in the native tongue. Well, enforce the Macedonian curricula. Try and get them converted and assimilated. All right, we've got some more fish. All right, all these guys. Actually, they're already merged. And they're just infantry. To find a place where we can build some armies. Iron and blood. A new rich load of iron ore has been discovered. Dig rich, or dig deep and greedily. We get plus mining efficiency. Pot militancy doesn't go up very much. Dig deep and greedily. I want to get some cavalry built. Oh, there we go. We have any 
provinces here where we can get some more cavalry. It doesn't look like it. Alright, well that'll have to do. We are going to want some cannon over here as well. Let's build a few artillery. All right. No, work harder. Okay. So what we're probably going to do is just go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. We are set up and rolling. And we are going to see... Oh. This is now way over... They was apply them in a 40 here as well. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. Um, I'm starting to, you know, try and get my head around what we're doing and how we're going to do it. And then we're going to see what we can get done. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.